All right guys, Coach Justin here from Zone. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about sinking your arm into the planar rotation. So what I mean by that is, at ball release, obviously arm gets up and then it spirals into position. But at ball release, as the ball's about to leave our fingertips, we should see a straight line between our hand and our shoulders, right? So a guy that has a higher arm angle has a degree of lateral tilt, it's called, where their shoulders are a little bit over. Okay, so we're at a little bit of an angle. Side arm, they come through more level. Everybody has a height that's natural to them. What we don't want to see is the shoulders rotating in one plane like this, and then the arm fighting it like this. So you don't want your arm to fight against your shoulders. If you're going to be up here, fine, but you're going to have a little bit of tilt. Okay, so that way the arm is a part of it. Think of a tennis serve and how much lateral tilt they have to get all the way up here, right? You want the arm to be a part of the turn so that it's along for the ride and we create more whip and more force and it captures all that momentum and that force instead of working in two opposite planes. So a lot of times with kids that force their arm forward, you'll see their shoulders and their arm be perpendicular as opposed to parallel, okay? So rather than force an arm slot on a kid, forcing them to be on top, over the top or anything like that, I like to try to find which one is natural to them. So one of the ways we do that, I kind of call this like a clock drill, but basically you're gonna start low, submarine, a lot of kids like to mess around on there anyways. And you're just sort of getting your shoulders in that plane, just starting to turn at that angle. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna have them throw and see the arm sweep through that plane. So your arm's matching the plane of their shoulders and it should look like one clean turn with the whole body. From there, take another ball. And you might have to do a few at each one, but if I was here, my posture was pretty bent over. All I'm doing is raising it up a little bit and now my angle is a little bit higher. So we're working our way up the clock, okay? So shoulder angle matches the arm. And we're just staying through that plane, feeling the fingertips go out. These ones should feel a lot like hitting where we're not coming out of the plane that we're working in, especially when we're trying to match the pitch, the plane of the pitch. You wanna stay in that plane all the way through it. Same idea here, all the way through it, not coming across and flicking out of it or forcing the arm over, okay? So if we were here and then we raise up, we just raise up a little bit more. Again, trying to keep your arm in that plane and you sort of just climb until you see that pattern where they start to break it, where their shoulders don't really keep going and now they're just forcing their arm on top. So if we're gonna be up a little bit, still loose, All right, but you're trying to match the angle of the shoulder with the angle of your arm. And then from there, a quick way to check it is if I'm here, you should be able to draw a straight line. So I should finish over here. If I'm higher up, I'm gonna finish lower down. It should be a straight line from ball release to where you finish. So if you see a kid who's here and then they finish like this, at some point they force their arm down as opposed to staying right in that plane that they're in. If they're higher, they'll be lower. Sidearm, they're gonna have a higher finish across, but it should be a straight line either way. Submarine guy, it's gonna come through like that. All right, so you just keep climbing, working your way up until you find the slot where they don't come through in that angle anymore and you start to see them break their pattern. And they'll tell if you've done this enough, they'll be like, okay, this one's starting to get uncomfortable or feels forced. And then that's where you kind of know, okay, anything above that for them isn't natural. And then we work from whatever plane we establish. So then we build our drill, drills from there. We build our figure eights, anything where the arm's moving, all that pattern based off of where they feel like their arm is a part of the turn along for the ride, instead of my body's rotating and I'm forcing my arm to do something else. So we wanna get the whole unit turning together. And then we just wanna find which one works for them. All right, and that's basically how we try to sink their arm into planar rotation and find every kid's arm slot.